Good afternoon. I'd like to call this Board of Health meeting to order at 4.34 p.m. If everyone could please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. So... We do have an additional add-on, um, as I'm sure you see. We are going to be having Nichols come in front of us in just a few minutes. But um, I will take Boy Scout Troop 273. I'll have you come up to the table right there for your request for a yard sale. Um, just identify yourself, whomever is going to speak. Just identify yourself, please. Myself? Yeah, I'm going to make you speak. Oh, that's fine. I'll speak. I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, I'll I'll let you speak shy first. About <laughs> what do I have to introduce myself for? Everyone here knows me. <laughs> Amanda does. So. All right, all right. All right, all right so um, thank you. So uh, Alex Ryle, Assistant Scoutmaster of Troop 273 in Dudley. And uh, Lewis Carmine, Committee Chairman for Troop two, uh, 273. All right. So... so yeah, we so did I, get your information. Yes, perfect. We reviewed. Um, I did send it to everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that you all get a chance to review it. Yep. Um, we saw the the picture, the traffic flow, everything. Um, so I think what we're going to start with is we'll address some of our concerns. Yeah. And then we'll go back and forth. Um, Ro, I know. You want the picture? Got it. Okay. Found it. <laughs> well, I'll start with you. And uh, just as you know, any votes that we do or anything has to be done roll call where Lori is on the phone. It keeps looking. Yeah, you can have it. Look at it. I have an extra set too, if you guys need it. Um. Okay, yeah, so the entrance is the same like it always is. And, and the, at the entrance is where you guys are going to do like the, the sales, you know, where people check cash out, right? Like they have done in the past. Yeah, so there'll be two. So on the picture, kind of a little hard to see, but basically, instead of having that open area between the two where we're just letting people go in and out, um, there'll be one side that's in and one side that's out. So oh, just okay. to make sure that, you know, people who are checking out are, you know, not interfering with the people who are coming in and not really crossing paths. All right. So, I think the other thing that um, I, I I don't really think it's a concern. I just want to know how sure. you guys set up the clothing because I know in the past <laughs> it's just been like as neatly as possible on a sure. tarp, and, and it doesn't really matter if many people will be in that area, right? That because everything well. itself is socially distanced, and people will be separated from each other but I know over time being a parent ha helping it gets kind of messy over there yeah, and then right. people dig and then the boys get you know have to go pick that up will, will there be as much stuff there will not be um, yeah. simply because this uh, you know hopefully this will be our first since uh, fall of 2019 and so we this past fall we had actually gone through and cleared out a lot of stuff from okay. the trailers. So actually, uh, I think almost 100% of the clothes that we had, we actually took and got rid of. So right now, we actually don't really have much in the way of yeah. uh, clothes to begin with. Okay. And you know, while we're talking about that too, we're not looking for donations at this okay. point. So what you all have is what you're going to start with. right we're, mm -hmm. we're what we are gonna you know we are gonna take donations the friday that we're setting up so if people have things they want to drop off they're literally just going to bring them to where you know where we're selling the product yeah, yeah so yeah there's no uh, there's maybe 30 bags of clothing maybe that's i'd say less than that yeah and that's like what we missed in the fall when we did the clean out yeah. so it's not like Anything so it's not right. like as bad as it's been. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> no, no, no. We're not going to unload barrels of, of clothing, so, yeah. So we did approve one yard sale um, that a church is having previously, mm -hmm. and um, we worked with them, and one of the ways to social distance was 
they've set up their tables at the outskirts, only one side. So, and I know you, housewares, which I'm quite familiar with. Mm -hmm. Oh, you've never worked there. No, no. no. <laughs> um, quite it familiar with it. <laughs> um, and I know how it, you have your tables going like this. Right. Yep. So, I guess we're, I like how the other yard sale is doing it, where they're only having one side that you can walk on. So you're not having people across the table from each other. And so clustered. Yeah, so maybe do it like an outside box where they're just going you know, in yeah, a just single flow. Two, three, what about if it was like every other table? So can and I say, wouldn't be around. what if you did two together? So that would give you about oh, four like feet. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. apart, and then yeah. you would have same amount, of, maybe not the same amount of tables because you're still going to be spacing right. the tables right. consistently um, so that there's space for, you know, hopefully one way traffic. But in case there's two people coming down the traffic, you know, making sure that they're wide enough for that. Um, but if we did two wide, then even if I'm across from you, I'm still significantly further away than that would make me happier. I just, yeah, I, I just know how it can be. Yep. And, and housewares gets very clustered. Yeah, yeah we, we get that. <laughs> so then that leads into my next question is, how do you plan on um, monitoring? You'll have one-way traffic. Mm -hmm. yep. It'll be marked on the ground. Yep. Okay. How do you plan on enforcing, I guess, or is a better word, keeping so that you don't end up with 30 people at one table going through stuff? Yes. Yeah, so I think the first thing is that we're going to try, you know, as we mentioned in the letter, itself limit the amount of people in there so we won't have I would say that there's been years that there's probably 150 to 200 people inside that yard sale at any mm -hmm. given time which on a normal day is fine right um, except for the fact that it gets real hot um, yep. but you know, <laughs> but other than that um, the fact that we're gonna be limiting it to a hundred people at the maximum which still is under the 150 threshold that you know is by the state right. so um, you know, given that and the square footage still being the same, we feel like there won't be as much of an issue with enforcing that as the amount of people won't be the same. Mm -hmm. So the amount of traffic wouldn't be as And that's hard. including your workers? Yeah. Okay, so it's a hundred, you're gonna have a hundred people inside the area, including your workers. Yeah. And then how are you going to manage your line outside at six foot social distancing within the parking lot with the parking? Yeah, so um, a couple of things. We haven't necessarily determined an exact plan as to how to do that. Um, we have a couple of ideas on how we can handle it. Um, so, you know, there's plenty of parking space in that area, especially okay. if we're limiting the amount of people that are going at any given time. So there is that space along the fence on either side of the the area when you entrance um, where so we can normally handicap where there's normally yes. handicap but even if you go the other way down towards where that food area normally is mm -hmm. probably is the best place for us to queue people up and maintain that six foot distance because then that routes around the outside of that parking lot as well we can go along that tree line if it really got to be I don't think we're going to be that long of a line so <laughs> you know I'm hoping we're not going to be like a Home Depot where there's a line for you know I don't know. 80, um, yeah, 80 it's people yard deep. Sale. It's a yard sale. I know. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> and it's been a while. <laughs> I'm hoping that that's not the case because that'll make a very busy day. But uh, I, we, I was at Grafton Flea Market Sunday opening weekend and there you and it was awful weather and it was packed. <laughs> I could not believe I drove by one the other day too and it was pretty busy but I'm so just hoping that maybe right. if we don't advertise as much <laughs> maybe yeah, they'll be so. calling you don't worry I know I know the early bird too or no uh yep we will so still do the early bird so that will you know same thing we'll queue them up in the same fashion on the, along that side of the fence here okay can I ask you a question yeah first time with us we've got to yeah. and all this sorry I'm yeah. catching on very quickly yeah. <laughs> 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 um, can you explain more about the food it sounds like that's just for your employees but what does that look like is it snacks is it prepackaged? is it yep sure so yeah it will be just for the employees it'll be roped off in an entirely different section so there will be no yeah sorry um, yeah so there will be no um customers traffic down there and it will be all prepackaged meals that the, the person who's in charge um will prepare and dole out so hamburgers and hot dogs is typically what it is um, so they'll and then prepackaged, you know, chips, soda, things like that. So oh, so not prepackaged. So we're you're so talking about making things completely from scratch. Yep, but they'll be individually um, packaged and served. Okay. 
So I just to give you a little because you don't know Matt Sullivan. Yes, yes. Yeah, Matt he'll Sullivan be there. is the one who has a search faith. He works for QCC. For yeah. sick. He's um, head of their whole culinary department. Yeah, yeah, culinary department. And the and we have we have two other well one other including myself. So we actually have three that are surf safe certified in the troop. I just know when when in the past when they've sold food yeah. food Matt's always the one who pulls the permits and does all of that. So yeah, right, we'll still pull permits. Yeah. He uh, well it, well we don't need to because we're not serving it. It's only for their own yeah. people that are working. They're, they're, it's like they're serving food just to their troop members. Yep, I would still say it needs a food service permit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I would say that you need to make sure Matt has gone through the COVID serve safe training. Yeah, he's he free, but yeah. It's still yeah, I'm, I'm sure he has with his requirements at QCC. Okay. okay. So we still need a food permit and uh, COVID serve safe. Okay. And, and then my other question is, how are you gonna? Are you gonna actually have someone standing at the gate like they do at Walmart? Mm -hmm. Plus one, minus one, plus yes. one, minus. Yes. Yep. And since the entrance and exit are right next to each other, well, they're six feet apart, but they're next to each other, it'll be easy for that person to maintain. Okay. Yeah, no. Will that be an adult? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> not yeah, that will not be a Not some kid who's like, oh, three. Look at what I could do. <laughs> there are apps where it shows like yep. 64 and then like a plus and a minus, and you just do this and it adds yeah, keep and subtracts people. Yep. Yep. I work for TJ Maxx, and we had a, we built one, so, okay. you know, so we can use that. I just wanted to make sure it was an adult doing yep. it, not a... <laughs> yep, yep, it'll be an adult volunteer. So you will not have the entrance or exit up near furniture? Nope. You will have the furniture pickup area? Yep, just for where we'll stage that outdoor, you know, that furniture, so that way we're not carrying that stuff through the through the main area of the sale and okay. blocking traffic or causing a, dis a disturbance there. And are you still doing only furniture that's not upholstered? Yeah, yes. there's... I don't think Thank there's you. any left in there that are upholstered. <laughs> yeah, we, we got, I think we got rid of it. With the yeah, I out. think that was the last of it that we got rid of finally. Um, but yeah, there will be none that we're selling there. Okay. Uh, Lori. Yes. Do you have questions, concerns? I didn't forget about you. No, no, no. I, I, I've been listening. Some of it cuts in and out when you don't speak into the microphone directly. But I certainly, um, you guys ask the questions that I asked written down as well on um, the parking spaces the traffic flow um, the house wares you know good 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 call on that I think they've done a fantastic job personally they've had a look we've had a lot of time to figure out how to do this um, so I I don't have any other further input on this I I think they did a great job thank, thank you. you thank you Jamie do you have more I asked when I have thank you okay well and it just this has nothing to do with anything. You'll reach out to the police, you know, yep. to, to the, for the traffic control and everything. Yep. Uh, that's just safety. Um, I don't yeah, we'll make sure we'll do the same thing that we always do where we yeah. <laughs> only exit left out of the, the parking lot to not cause a disturbance at the intersection Perfect. down to the Perfect. right. And I mean, the people who will listen to us. The other people will just, you know, run through the stops. And, <laughs> and you'll have hand sanitizer yep. around? Yep, yep. so there'll be a sanitizing stuff. station, you know, product at each and area. At, at the port and at the entrance. Well. Yeah. What are you going to do if you someone gives you a hard time about a mask? That's his job. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> no, <laughs> there, just, yeah, no, I, and, and it probably will happen. They're going to say, you know, we're outdoors, this, that, and the other. We're just going to ask them politely to leave. Okay. Yeah. And, if, and if we have bigger issues, well, then we have the police there for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, just, okay. just in case you don't know this, because you have a food service of any kind, mm -hmm. you have to have a seating area that's designated for that. And that's the only time somebody can take their mask off, yep. off is if they're sitting in that seated area okay. eating their food. Yep. So there's a, there's a small, uh, it's hard to see in the picture. Yeah, there's, there's a small picnic, picnic tables. table area okay. right outside that fenced in area as well on the food side. Okay. And so there'll be two, there's two picnic tables there. Yeah, and we can throw a sign or something there to designate it's, that. Yeah, it's roped off there. anyway, so yeah. then we'll go over there. Perfect. You That's could a put call. a sign up at the beginning, like before anybody even walks in your gate that says mask, proper mask use enforced. That's right. On this property, um, your cooperation is appreciated. You know, you yeah, we yeah, yeah we we had included a mock of pro or what we're gonna say, but well, it's gonna be they'll be on twenty four by thirty. Six. I was gonna big say it's gonna be big. <laughs> yeah. Two additional things you want to put on that sign. Sure. No smoking. Yep. Because you'll have the people walking around. I, <laughs> and yeah. we always that was in the I past. Know, yeah. That's been an issue. Right. 
And um, you do want to put that only service animals allowed because in okay. the past we've had dogs fighting. I don't know if you recall, but just, and those oh. are just, <laughs> so. Yeah, no, that's a good call. I, yep. Making notes right now. It's just from years of doing this. Yeah, I appreciate the feedback. And I, you know, I'm good. Would you want to see their food area or no, because they're just for them? The day of. I mean, you, as long as you've done what we talked about, that's what the code requires. So. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yep, we'll do that. Right. Okay, so. If uh, sorry, one question. Oh, do you absolutely. need proof of the COVID serve safe or are you good? Uh, yeah, when you submit your application. When submit the application. Yep, just like okay. with your serve safe. Yep. Just okay. as another I'll just make sure that's included. Thank you. Yep. Um, I'm right a minute. It's free, right? It's just, I think it's like a 30 minute free. Yeah. Of course, but it, it has some good points to it. Okay. Yeah, definitely will do. Okay. Anything else? Will you be working in that day? Uh, I might be ill. Listen, I'm about to be <laughs> ill, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad my son's no longer involed. No offense. <laughs> 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 I'm not taking it. Right, Lori? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a lot of work. What is the, what is the date? The one, the May it's one? the, May I think 29th. it's the 29th. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And you're still one day now. Yes, one day. Yes, yep, back to one day. Okay, perfect. All right, so, so we will um, be, yeah, we will set up Friday night and then we'll be completely out of there by about, you're all gonna laugh. And <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Let's just call it seven o'clock on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it eight, eight to six to seven. Yeah, on Saturday, no, I, so. I recall, I recall doing, you know, still <laughs> it's starting to get funny. dark and picking up. So yes. we turn those lights on. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, turn so the lights yeah, back yeah. on from the yeah. fire yeah. department. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah so exactly. and you'll be getting the lights from the fire department. We will. Department. Yep, for the night before Perfect. and, the, and mm -hmm. the day of. Yep. All right. So I guess um, what's the board's pleasure? I'm good. You want to? Yep. Make a motion. Uh, I make a motion to accept, allow, allow the Boy Scout Troop 273 to hold their Memorial Day weekend yard sale on May 29th. Good enough? I, I second that. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none, roll call vote, please. Roberta Johnson, aye. Lori Ducharme, aye. Jen Kenoyer, I passes unanimously. Great. Thank you, and thank you. Thank you. I will see you that weekend. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll be, be there to see. I will be visiting. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll be there to yes. uh, sell you some stuff. Exactly. Don't be, exactly. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> Great job, everyone. Thank you. Looks good. Thank you. Good thank, you. Good thank, you. thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, Justin and PJ, come on up. So Nichols got added on to us as a um, quick request. Um, so I guess what I was told <laughs> is that there's talks of fireworks. Yes. So that's brought some concerns about large crowds. So that's why um, it was asked if you could come in front of us, give us an explain yep. it a little bit, and and then I have a question about food trucks after too. Yep. Okay. So. So right now um, we're trying to do something. Jen, for can Saturday. I excuse me? What is this? And who is he, who is there? Oh, sorry, Nichols College. It's Justin okay. Dolan and PJ Dean Bogio. Okay. Sorry. Uh, They're yeah. requesting for an event. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's going to explain. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, so what we're planning right now is to try to pull off something on Saturday the twenty fourth. 8 9 p.m. time is still kind of in flux as to when Jen he needs to speak into the microphone okay he is it's just it's it's difficult and we're in a different room today so oh, sorry no that's okay I'm sorry I can speak louder is that better Lori is that better a little bit all right I'll shout okay. <laughs> hold on actually that's a good idea sometimes it's not like that <laughs> Mm -hmm. We're moving you, Lori. Just hang out. <laughs> okay, that's good. I really want to hear everything. Can you hear me now? Oh, my God. Okay. So, as I was saying, what we're trying to plan right now is uh, fireworks on Saturday the 24th, sometime after 8, 9 p.m. in that time range. Uh, the intent was to try to provide a event with a bang, no pun intended, um, that we could still socially distance. 
Um, in talking with people that work in PJ's department, the way we kind of thought we could achieve that is from where we were planning to launch them, which is down in lot M, you could have almost three distinct areas. You have the three different quads and you could use the parking lot. And the parking lots are actually the easiest because you have eight foot parking spaces standing in a space. Right. Um, so that was kind of the one way you could have, you know, little clusters of 100, you know, 150, and then they'd be spaced far enough apart. That was the initial thought, and then we figured, you know, this is a dialogue, it's not a set in stone plan. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Typically at the end of the year, we have a concert, and we did not want to do a concert. <laughs> Um, because that doesn't make any sense right now. Right. Um, and we were hoping, yeah, just a little bit of this is just something 15 a minutes of fun and a little bit better than, you know, nothing. Yeah. Pick up a teddy bear on a table, you know. No, I, I yeah. I, so I understand. Th that's kind of how we got. That's our at least our logic on how we got there. Okay, Jamie. This is news to me. So this I have we to just got this today. A little bit. Um, yeah. We have been working with the fire chief. Yeah. Um, Scouting out yeah. areas and, and yeah, so we've we've done them before, but yeah. years years ago. Do you have wells in the area? That's that's where I went before COVID in my mind. Wells, drinking water wells. Not on the property. All of our wells are not potable water. Okay. Um, how many people are you expecting? Well, currently on campus, living on campus is about five hundred and fifty. Is all. Um, Sorry, 500 students are living on campus. I'm not sure how many students will come to campus for a you know, 10, 15 minute fireworks show, but yep. um, those people we could expect to actually stay in their cars. Um, the way Lot M, where it will, I mean, that's that's the hope is Lot M, where it shoots off, which is down by the softball field. Right. Way down, below right? The, yep. Below the tennis courts um, and above the softball field. But that gives us the tennis courts that gives us actually it could even almost be on vendetti yeah um like it gives us pockets of big areas that are fields Hill. that we could spread people out yeah so i was i was in college a while back now but it makes me think that they're not going to really space out and what we're doing is creating an environment where they're going to just be brought together and um i think if you went back to your original concert idea you could sell tickets and definitely manage the number of people, whereas fireworks will bring people out wherever you are. Yeah, I mean, a concert is, would it be indoors for us? So we wouldn't be doing a concert outdoors. Oh, you can't that, do a concert outdoors? No, we have no plans to do that. Okay. Because the fireworks would promote people from the community to come out as well, you know? It could, yeah, yeah from their cars. Yeah, from being like, you know, I want to watch too. Yeah. I, I would think from their vehicles, there's probably enough places between Center Road and Tanyard, and mm -hmm. that's probably about it, really, before right. you get into a hill situation. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're encouraging people to stay in their cars if they're coming by car. If they're driving in, yeah, certainly. I mean, we wouldn't be pol we wouldn't be, for lack of a better word, policing any community members in their cars. But I doubt right. many of them would be getting out to come join it. It's they they're going to see it from their cars. And then anybody. Can So I don't know how familiar you are with the campus, uh, but there are several distinct quadrangles that are framed by buildings for lack of a better term. So they are naturally spaced and we can actually post a couple of staff people at each location, kind of like we do for every event and just treat it as multiple smaller events for one show. I, I guess that's the way to put it. Okay. Would you? Okay, I have a sample of that. I'm just throwing stuff out there because this again, this just got thrown over to me this this mid morning. Oh, we would have access to at least four, uh, possibly five. So, um, would you, if if you if you go we go forward with something like this, would you assign people like you go to this particular area? You can watch it here. Or, or maybe mm -hmm. not a sign. Um, like the freshmen go to this area, the right. sophomores go to that You know, area. and kind of yeah. like, yeah. and then have your little area with your staff like they do like you, for the events. Mm -hmm. I don't know, mm -hmm. I'm, just, I'm just throwing stuff out there. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know how you're gonna have, even if you have a, I know 10 staff members in each quad area policing these kids to stay away from each other. Well, yeah, I mean, 
I feel you're like right, they're college we're, students. We can't do that now. I mean, uh, right. We're just Wednesday. coming off the heels of long conversations and lots of students. Mm -hmm. It gives me lots of pause for this conversation. Yeah, and that's and that's totally appropriate. And that's something that we need to, you know, we either make a decision one way or the other, and we we will respect that decision. We were just thinking, you know. It's been a long year. We've had a good year, quite honestly. We know the last couple of weeks have been kind of up and down, but compared to many places, we still feel like we've done a very good job managing it, and we just wanted something special for the students, just as a goodbye, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And so that's really where we were coming from. Um, I want that too, but yeah. I want it safely too. Just oh, like absolutely. you do, just like yeah, you we do, do but yeah, this makes do. me have a lot of eyes to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally understand. Yeah, I, that's, I don't know, you know. Mm. Unless you say bring your own chair and everyone has to space out, but then that means more people policing those students. You know what I mean? Yeah. It turns into quite the headache for a, what, five to seven, ten minute show? Well, I hope it's longer than five minutes. Okay, <laughs> 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 okay so what, 15 minutes? Yeah, yeah, shows but, aren't but yeah you're right. It, it is a short Bring your own period. chair, yeah. Yeah. sit still, somebody turns around, and the next thing you know, there's a huge cluster with no masks. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And um, I. I have to say, I'm not ready for that yet. I, I, I really, yeah. I feel yeah. like every time we turn around this, yeah. Yeah, we're just trying to, you know, again, it, it's, it was, it was a, an, an attempt to do fire. something because <laughs> those last weekends <laughs> tend to be, they yeah. make their own fun, which yep. is not, yeah, which right. is also not what we want, but so right. we wanted right. to, can you can yeah. you live stream a concert on like a big blow up movie screen that is essentially brought like something like that that encourages people you come and you sit in a spot and you don't it's only it's more than fifteen minutes long so that's your dedicated space but it's still something fun to do. No, we'd probably just scrap the whole thing okay. honestly. I, I know a lot of people that have done those kind of like drive-in movie type things. Yeah, we, we've done them. we've done those kinds of events. That's and what we were trying to just yeah. do something different. different. So, yeah, you know, because we you know again. I know, um, like last weekend we were doing bingo. The mm -hmm. reason why we have to come forward and get a per a be because we want to use a microphone because otherwise they can't hear us call the numbers and Lord knows if they miss out on their free TV <laughs> that they can win. <laughs> like, that's when hell will break loose. Pardon my language, but. So you know what I mean? So we're, those are the kinds of events we're just trying to have. We're trying, now that we can, have them outside. And so right. we have to come before um, with that list. I know yeah. Justin brought it last week. was all like, if we want to just play the radio because we're doing a beanbag toss game, we have to have we a have permit. We have to get a permit from the selectmen. So the, it, yeah. Yeah. And it slows our normal planning process down. So we can't like turn on a dime because you got to you know post to a meeting yeah. and get right. to it. So, and we respect that. We, we want yeah. to you know, follow the laws and everything that are in town. So. Yeah, but you know, at the end of the day, we, as we have all year, we've worked very collaboratively absolutely. and we will absolutely, you know, follow your recommendation. I think it just sounds too fun. And then it's <laughs> gonna be like bringing people together, which sounds awful. I don't like to live in this world either, but I don't know how they wouldn't stay together. Like they would come close. I get what you're saying. Each sparkling space is eight feet, but Oh yeah, I did. unless there's and someone saying like leave, yeah. you're yeah. locked into the I don't know yeah. like mm -hmm. stay put. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody wants to do that. You just need everybody to wear a belt with a six foot stick on it. That's so right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll have those preschool students, right? You hold on to the rope. Or yeah. like the the pool noodle. If you do this yeah. on yeah, both yeah, sides, yeah. it gives you that. My kids play that at school. Yeah. All right. I, uh, from the sounds of it, it it's not yeah I, I feel confident I, I, I feel for my speak I'm gonna speak for my staff because they're the ones who always pull these things off they're incredible and they've done a great <laughs> job but the piece of the puzzle that you're right is like when the show's over and they're all going back up like that's gonna be where there's a bottleneck mm -hmm. and that's where there's gonna be some things but I, I feel confident like if we if we we could pull it off because that's we we never not pull something off we, we we're, right. We'll have extra people there, but this is a, this is a big step. So mm -hmm. I totally, again, totally respect the decision of the board. 
and I'm glad that we could come and discuss it yeah. at least. Oh, absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah. And that's why I was like, we thought, no. you know, we're going okay. through the fire department, we're going through all these yeah. things, like we're good, we're good. Uh, and that's why, and I'm like, no, have them come in because we just wanted to talk about it. And I, I mean, I feel bad. I, I do. I, I. It is. We what all, it is. I'm sure, we all do. We feel horrible. Mm -hmm. But it's like you, we're looking at, you know, both sides of it, and it's, it's just a mess. And we understand that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we all have a job to do, and so we're we're trying. We got some best. some uh, emails from the state that said, "Hey, what's going on at Nichols College?" So yeah. that that's uh, new yeah. new things for us. Right. And, and oh, I yeah, I, a lot of, I, I'm in touch with the woman from the state, Sally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah someone emailed me, and I was like, "Yes, I know. We're on it. I'm yeah. talking to PJ all the time." And then she emailed a couple more times since then I saw because that. it was bigger than they were experiencing other places in Mass right now. So. Yeah, um, ours is like it's a it's a slow like it's mm -hmm. you know other places uh, I mean obviously keeping an eye on what a lot of places are doing and it's like Peaks a and then huge flare yeah. up with a bunch of people and ours we've had a couple of days like that but it's just like it just keeps going because this one person didn't <laughs> and it's just like this slow caterpillar of a yep. moving thing and it's like just you'd be better off just to have it spike and then go you right. know but we don't want that either no no, <laughs> no. <laughs> not when we're already off to a good start so. Uh, this week. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Not PJ. laughs> Every day. <laughs> so then um, someone asked me about food trucks. Um, you, I, and I remember Monday night at the selectmen's meeting, there was something, but I wasn't, uh, somebody somewhere about f having food trucks on campus? We have one food truck okay. every Friday night. Every Friday night. And so yeah. they, they come, it's a different food truck, and the, the students, like, they, because of the weather, they don't really hang out there. They just, they're in queue, they get their food, and they go. It's just been a little extra something that we've done this year to, you know, one day it's the waffle truck, the next week it's Cookie Monster, and then it's the go the dog father. And so those are all cool, but they each need to be licensed with us as a temporary event. So we should know about every single one that comes up there, and they're supposed to get a, a um, temporary event permit for food. I don't we is do something through Sodexo? Yeah, is it on the vendor or the college? It should be on each vendor has to get their okay, own because yeah, you don't want to take that liability correct, on yourself. Right. Yeah. But you guys as the venue where they're coming need to check their licenses because I don't think any of them have gotten a license through. Oh us. yeah, we they have to have the insurance yeah, that's clearance. That's part of our that. packet that's supposed to provide all that so we can if they haven't come and gotten it, we need to know that so that we can follow up with the vendors because... I don't think any of them have. I haven't okay. known none of those names you've just said. Do yeah, because we have a whole binder that we require insurance certificate, all this stuff, so... Yeah, so they probably have their, like, typical standard base of operation permit in there and their standard insurance certificate and their serve safe. You probably look at a lot of things, but if they don't have a temporary food event permit from our office, that means we don't know they're here in town to go up and do an inspection. Okay. And is it, would that be something that we would do uh, for every vendor at the beginning of a semester? Like, so if could we come in and just do like, here's the next 10, 10 of them, or so is it a weekly thing? So if you're going to have like four different trucks and they're going to come back every four weeks, right? Like come once a month, each truck comes once a month or something like that, then maybe we'll talk, this board will consider, I'll ask you anyway, if you'd like to consider um, a, a food, like rather than every time getting a permit, they get some kind of a temporary permit to be used five times during the year or whatever, something like that. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes it's more cost effective if they get an annual permit because they're gonna use it so many times. But somehow we just need to know they're gonna be in town and what their game plan is. If they come multiple times, I'm not gonna come inspect them every time, but I, need, I do need to know when they're gonna be in town and that I can come inspect them at least a couple of times. Okay. Yeah. yeah, like I said, we do have that plan, so we'll make, so it's good to know that yeah. This end isn't happening, so we can follow up on that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and just have them by all means. And we, we, as a board, I'm not, I'll speak for myself, I'm willing to work, you know, because I, I, I think our temporary and permanent cost is minimally different, I, you know, so. Yeah, so, it, so if it's, if it makes sense to have an annual permit, that's cool. They can do that, and then they don't have to continuously come back. Or we could figure out some kind of way to do it. Yeah, in years temper. past, we didn't do it every Friday. It's just, we again, we're just trying to give them something Absolutely. that's just... I think it's a positive thing. I yeah. just think yeah. those vendors should know that they're supposed to come through us for a permit. So. 
I the only one I know about that is even heard of is Dogfather. And I just picked a name. Honestly. Okay. Like, been <laughs> I'm like Cookie Monster. I don't even know. No, that's what is one. that one? Yeah. That <laughs> fresh cookies yeah. with ice cream yeah. in it. Yeah. Sounds see, really exciting. You have you to let us us know yeah. so that we can, you know, just drive by. Yeah. 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 Lori? Yes, I'm here. Do you have any other questions for Nichols? No, I don't. Thank you. Rob? Mm -hmm. nope. Jamie? No, thank you. Okay. Do you have any other questions for us? Well, we have you here again. No, I, um, well, I think the last time I talked to you about was commencement a couple weeks ago. And, yes. Um, you know, hoping we've got four more weeks. That's where we go. I told my staff this morning, I said, we got duct tape and it's starting to look a little frayed, but we got it. We'll get it for four more weeks. That's all we got to do. Yep. All we got to do. But we appreciate all your help this year. I, I thank you. It's been, you've been very easy to work with and we appreciate that. And the communication has been amazing. Thank you. And hopefully next year. Yeah, let's not talk about this anymore, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you to call me every day anymore, okay? Yeah, tell me <laughs> you. you on a friendly basis, not this COVID stuff. <laughs> So we hope that next year it'll be, oh yeah, yes. even better. Yep. So, yep. Thank you for everything, and I know you want to make it special for them, and I appreciate that. And I'm glad you're having a graduation. Yeah. So. You can do those little poppers themselves, right? Are those legal in Massachusetts? I don't. Know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, as a facilities guy that's got to pick all that up, so, so you want me to put some of those in my pocket when I go? That's, uh, that's what I'm hearing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Take them home to your own yard and then use them. Watch, there'll be, uh, there'll be people that do that and he'll come blame me. So. Oh, right, because I was sent here blaming right. my phone. It's on record. I, want to even I know, I'm sorry, I'm not. My pockets will be empty, you can check. So, thank you very much. Okay, we appreciate thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bring her back to the table. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I thank you. Sorry, Lori, I forgot about you. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so next up is just um, we did get the floor plan of the St. Andrew Babola. Did I? Did I? Did you get the look at it? Did you have one, Jamie? No, I didn't. It's not. very small. Thank you. I'm Hello. sorry. Um, it was. Wear glasses for a reason. <laughs> this is the one we already talked right yeah. she yeah. I just want you to know she did send in the floor plan like she said and everything looked pretty good so yep I think they're okay that looks great Lori did you have any um, questions no, I, I, I did print that out and I viewed it and yes they, they did a very good job very perfect detailed. all right moving on number three um, so we threw this on because we thought we might be having this discussion Chowton Board of Health reached out to us about um, a discussion regarding the Dudley Chowton Regional School District. You probably have an old one. I, have I do. Like sorry. Minutes, so I like, oh, sorry. I had accepted minutes too. I was like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but it ended up nobody from Chowton Board of Health could attend. Okay. But what they want to know is that's what this one was. Their next meeting <laughs> is next Tuesday at 6 p.m. Ah. 20, is it 20th? 20th? It is at 6 p.m. via Zoom. I'm on vacation and will not be here next week. That is good for you. It I'm, is. I, I'm sorry. I'm glad for you, but yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gone Saturday to Sunday. Right, Saturday to the following Sunday. Okay. Nice. I'm available. Okay. Today, uh, the 20th. At 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay. It's in my calendar. Okay, perfect. And I'm going to let Kathleen Walker know who can attend and they want to sit down and discuss some concerns. Are you available? Maybe. When do you leave? I, I don't leave yet, but it is vacation and I desperately need one. You but let me know. It's not a problem. Yeah. Lori and I will be there, right? Yeah. With bells on. Uh oh. Okay. Thank you. So now, now we can move on to accepting the minutes. <laughs> Charlton. Um, I make a motion to accept the minutes from March 16th, 2021. I second that motion. I have a motion and a discussion. Any uh, motion and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none. All in favor, roll call. Roberta Johnson, aye. Lori Dusham, aye. Jen Knoyer, aye. Passes unanimously. Um, up next, COVID update. 
whomever wants to roll with something. <laughs> I'll just roll my public health stuff in there. <laughs> you can do it all. All right. So we're, you know, our numbers, you know, wax and wane. We go up, we go down. We're holding steady at 36. Um, we're still seeing some cases in school. We're seeing some clusters in the community as well. Um, no, nothing much. You know, middle um, K through four went to went back to school. This is our second week so far. I think I'm just as tired as my K and first graders. Let me tell you. Um, wow, it's gonna be difficult. It's been so difficult, but it's been so great seeing them. Um, and then I think what after April vacay, the other kids come back. Is they that do. right? right. Um, so nothing really. It's still there. You know, a lot of sports related. Um, outside of the community sports related um, positives but um, you know it's still there it's not as big as it was but it is and we did we've been doing the pool testing this is our third week so we'll see what happens when we come back from April vacation so that's really it on my end okay Any I'm sure everybody was happy to get back to school full-time oh my god they were so happy they must be so excited. A couple kids, you know, were pooped by 2 o'clock because they're not used to it. But mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it's it like, I'm tired. I'm like, yeah, because now they have lunch. Year. And it's been it's been a lot. But we they're excited. We haven't good. seen them in a year, you know, most of them. So that's, that's exciting. good. Yeah. Well, that's good. And I'll be anxious to hear at the next meeting how bringing back the rest. Yeah. You know. Right. So we're getting back to some type of normalcy, yes. right? Yeah. So, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next, uh, health agent. Mine, mine is a little bit of COVID stuff too. Sure. Um, we had two homebound in town. We did those and then we have two more on a list, possibly a third homebound. Um, the homebound program was run through our partnership with Harrington, um, is run through our partnership with Harrington and, um, the other news of the day is the J&J &J going on hold or the, mm -hmm. the Janssen vaccine being placed on hold. Um, the call this afternoon with DPH specifically said there have been 6.8 million doses of J&J &J distributed in Mass, uh, I'm sorry, in the United States and only six cases have resulted in that, um, the clotting concern. However, they wanted to pause it because they wanted to investigate further and so they do have meetings next week um, the CDC and um, the government to, um, I guess, investigate that further. And so we have no understanding of how long that pause is, but the vaccine is not right now being pulled and is not being destroyed. It is being held at appropriate temperatures in some, some places that are actually vaccine clinic mm -hmm. sites and, so, and some of it through the federal government, but it's being paused in order to fully investigate what this could mean. Um, and then they will tell us in the future if we should be going back to using it or not. Um, the, it was, um, all six cases were in females and um, I believe they said between the ages of 18 and 49. Um, and so none of them were in Massachusetts as of right now. And it happens between day two and day 13 from them getting the vaccine. Okay. So things mm. to know. And uh, if anyone has a concern, they should contact their doctor. They should contact their doctor and say that they received the J&J &J vaccine. And um, the, the, one of the main reasons they needed to pause was because the treatment plan for individuals that do have these concerns is different than the standard blood clot treatment plan. And so this standard blood clot treatment plan, mm -hmm. you use heparin and you move through like that, that this is a different treatment plan and they need to educate the doctors on that information. Um, so I think that was important. How that ties back into Dudley um, is um, through our homebound program because our homebound program was utilizing J&J. &J. And so now the additional two, maybe three homebound cases that we have to work with um, are probably going to be utilizing Pfizer, which means we'll have to go out two times, three weeks apart to, to serve those patients. So um, the two that we cared for really went very well. Um, so, but this, we cared for them 
and then the state came out and started to tell people about the homebound program and I think it was within like hours of that that we started getting calls from other people that met believe they might meet the criteria the criteria is very very strict so the state has incredibly strict criteria about what is constituted as a homebound or not to the point where I think some of these individuals will have a very difficult time getting to a site but they don't meet the homebound bound criteria so um, so I thought you would want to know all of those things. Um, we're still working with um, the Harrington site with our uh, allocated slots that they give us. Um, Amanda did a fantastic job. I know the Board of Health Assistants have been working really hard on this. And so I feel like our list has been really well accomplished. Um, but because we're getting into new categories of eligibility, um, that means I just have to go back to our initial sign-up sheet and pull over the additional people that will now be eligible. Um, so I think the last time I looked, which was maybe a day or so ago, our total list was somewhere around 3,270 people. And I think we've um, at, at least worked with or, or um, reached out to around 2,800. I think that's what our list is right now of people, um, many of whom have already uh, received the vaccine in some manner. That's great. It's fantastic. Um, I think that I think that I'm very proud of how this community has handled that because I feel like we've um, served the community well. So, um, And then, I, I don't know if you want to talk about our clinic this past weekend, our second dose clinic, but sure. we worked mm -hmm. with Joshua Place and um, the additional doses through the town hall here and served um, 109 people again. And I think that the fact that they could come to their own community and receive a vaccine was just amazing. And um, I hope at some point the state recognizes that when there's enough vaccine to pass around and gives us that opportunity. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody was overjoyed. Yeah. Yep. It, 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 up at Joshua Place, they were just amazed. You know, yep. it, it was wonderful. Everybody was so appreciative. And we, made, we did a great thing. And that's, and I wish the state would realize that the local boards of health really can do mm -hmm. things like this with the help exactly. of, with the help of the fire department mm -hmm. and you know it, I, I, it, everything you guys right. did it was amazing yeah I think it was a really good team effort I yes. feel like there was a lot of people involved and um, I felt like anybody that came through felt that it was calm and comfortable and they were cared for absolutely they everybody who left was so happy yeah. and was thinking you know yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so I appreciate everything Thank yeah you. Um, and we, all, we all make a good team. Yes. <laughs> we do. Um, and I, um, I went out and did the parking shop inspection today. I don't, know if you, I don't know how much detail you typically get on these types of things. Do you not for food inspections? Do you want I don't detail? Usually we food? get everything good or if it gets into some critical. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I thought it was a really good inspection. They have new owners and the new owners are very um, interested in improving the establishment. And it was made mentioned to me that in the past, Board of Health, the Board of Health, and I don't know if that's the board itself or the agents were, were um, not happy with the carpeted part of the store. And that's um, leaving this weekend and it's gonna be hardwood, uh, <laughs> really? the fake hardwood. So amazing. Um, that's, that's amazing. So that was a pretty good, that was a yeah. pretty good exciting thing. Um, but I thought, you know, there were, there were some things to work on just like every place has, but they were minor and they were working on them as I was leaving even, so. I was I was happy with it. Where was this? I missed it. I'm sorry. At Park and Shop. Oh, great. Yes. And that's, you know, that's our goal is mm -hmm. when you go out, they're receptive to it. You guys work through everything and they fix any problems, anyone. Yeah. That's all we want. Okay. Excellent. So typically I would, for food inspections, I would probably just say, oh, I went out and did a bunch of food inspections. Yep. And if there was anything that needed extra tender love and care, I'd ask them to come before you Absolutely. and have some conversations. But I felt like because I was told the Board of Health wanted <laughs> to know about the carpet, I was like, well, I should at least say that it's going to be gone. That. And I'm glad, you know, the new owners um, welcome them to town, and mm. I'm glad that they're going to be doing some improvements hopefully yeah. and yeah all oh, the carpeting is you well, know the first thing we've had many it, comments about that carpeting have you <laughs> people well, always are commenting about it well so. how exciting that next week that will already be moving very nice <laughs> <laughs> okay wow. so I have just a couple things um, that I'm gonna if I can bring them up Lori then I'll go to you if you have anything okay um, 
one question just to inform the public because I know we've been getting this set this question posed a couple times when does the state or does the state have any idea when bars can reopen um, so we've been told that will be phase four step two and a date has not been set by the state at this time okay phase four step two is that mm -hmm. what she said yes yeah. okay yes. And that's, you know, un it's unfortunate, but if they don't sell food or anything. Yeah, if it's a food establishment that also serves alcohol, that's an acceptable practice. Right. They can um, move forward with their food service permit and then move forward also selling alcohol. But a patron has to come in and purchase food in order to also purchase alcohol. Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Just to clarify that. Um, so... Do you want to talk about Earth Day, Lori, or do you want me to? Um, I, I, I hope uh, Michelle had a chance to post our video that the three of us did up on Facebook. I will double check with her, but I did send it to her. So Earth Day is uh, Saturday, April 24th from 8 to 12 at the, um, the Town Highway Barn. There will be a dumpster um, placed there for specifically for this. And we will have bags and vests and the grabbers and gloves and everything necessary um, to help you um, collect up trash hmm. in your neighborhood or a particular area in town. Or you can um, plant a tree or you can participate in some recycling. And we have a contest going on. That, that's actually the most exciting thing besides doing something wonderful to uh, make our earth a little better. The contest, you can enter virtually, which would be taking video or pictures of your family, yourself collecting trash or planting a tree or doing something with recycling and enter that to into the, um, the virtual contest by emailing it to building1 at dudleymass.gov or calling the uh, office and finding out if there was a, another way to submit it, but emailing it over is probably the best way. Or on the day of the event, you can show up with your bags and um, dispose of them in the designated dumpster that will be at the highway department, the barn there. And we're gonna have Dudley, the dumpster dog um, <laughs> there. You can take some pictures with him. We will have the contest there live as well, where you can enter your name in a dog bowl, and we will draw a virtual winner for the, for the virtual entries, as well as the live winners at 12 o'clock. Um, if you need, I'm trying to, am I missing anything, Jen? No, nope. mm -mm. you're doing okay. great. Oh, we're gonna have goodies. We're gonna have some uh, little uh, goodies for uh, takeaway mm -hmm. for Earth Day, like, uh, like bookmarks and, uh, uh, little you know cute little takeaway items that we got um, for participation um, so we're very excited and we really hope to start maybe a, a new tradition in town to make um, make this a you know a good event and move forward next year maybe we can expand on it um, by adding some more activities you know hopefully we'll be in a different uh, position next year so I'm, I'm very excited because I know myself lately, I don't know if anybody else pays attention, but I'm always so conscious of the trash that you see all over the side of the roads. And it's just, I think mm -hmm. it's so much worse this year than ever before, yes. personally, because I'm always one that participates in Earth Day trash pickup because it just, I think it's, we need to save our planet. Um, so anyway, I, I'm very excited and I hope people, um, really kind of take a few minutes and if you need um what is the protocol for if you cannot for whatever reason get the bag to the highway department jen um give the board of health office a call and we'll see what we can work with you if it's that day and you're picking up bags and you we you can talk to us that morning um i will let you know that we did put these on the facebook page on the town website in several areas I have had a couple groups already come and pick up some bags. Mm, if, you're, if you're a business and you want to get some people together and pick up anywhere, all we ask is if you have a road you want to do, let us know just so that we can keep track of roads that are being done. And there is trash everywhere, you're mm -hmm. right. It, it's 
it's just horrible. You mm -hmm. just drive along and it's everywhere. We have gloves, we have wipes, you know, everything. And you're right, we'll have little, some cute little Earth Day items to give for participation. As so. well as the, uh, we're hoping to get um, some gift certificates for, from local businesses. We're working on that. Um, so even if it's a little something, we will have, you know, something to, to give as our, our giveaway prize. Great. We'll have one virtual and the live. Absolutely. So, and if you do have any questions, call the Board of Health Office or email building1 at dudleyma.gov. We'll just swamp Amanda with emails. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and um, well, it should be fun. And Dudley the Dumpster Dog is going to make his first appearance. So we're pretty yep. excited about that. Oh, so Very excited. Very excited to have Dudley present. Yes. Can't wait. All right. Do you have anything else? I don't. Thank you very much. Um, I don't. I just, again, will thank everybody. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's been amazing what we've been able to do. And the people are happy. Um, Amanda, Absolutely. you did a great job. The Board of Health Assistants did amazing. Ro, Jamie, really, and Dean, the fire chief, and yeah. all his staff. Yeah. I mean, the nurses are wonderful. Yeah. The, all the, the people who volunteered their time. It was amazing, and things ran mm -hmm. so smoothly. And I, I would love to do it again mm -hmm. and again. Yeah. And we got our fridge. So mm -hmm. we can do it again and again and again. Yeah. So let's hope that and let's hope that things continue to get better. So absolutely. All right. Any nobody has anything else, I'll entertain a motion. Make a motion to adjourn. I second that. I have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Excuse me. Um Roberta Johnson, I Lori Ducharm, I. Jen Kenoyer, I. All in favor, meeting adjourned at 529.